Hi all, I am presenting package manager for ICP. Install software in ICP to use it in a user subnet, like an operating system for ICP. It has the following advantages. User sovereignty over user software that is not under control of a DAO, not under control of a DEF, under control of the user. Put user soft in the same subnet. This increases speed of software. Manage software easily, like as in Android Play Market. Software of user choice. Manage permissions like Android. Install software. Copy the software to user on subnet instead of simply use it online from the developer subnet. Install software is owned by the user, not by the dev or the DAO. Fast. Putting all user software in the same subnet can much increase the speed. Convenient. We provide a package manager to manage the software easily. Choice. The user may be provided choose between several software packages for a function such as email reader, such as several email clients. Permissions. Like as in Android, user has choose over permissions to give to software. So, we support multiple repos, multiple DAOs, DAOs, multiple installations of the same software and multiple subnets to install software into. Unlike Linux distros, you can install from multiple repositories, like as if you installed from both Ubuntu and Red Hat. Will we make our package manager block hold? We lay aside block hold in package manager with its paths for the future when we have more knowledge. For now, it's not a priority to block hold it. Android like permissions. And we support really big repos. Nearly no limit for repository size thanks to using KDB database for storing the packages. So, the our roadmap. Reading software manager specs, mostly done. Reading repository specs, not yet done. Backend, partly written. Frontend, partly written. We can have as big success as of Linux. But unlike Linux, we can have tax on our users because they anyway pay money to install software. Pay ACP. We expect uh, 1 billion users each installs 100 apps within with 3 modules each. 10 cents paid in gas. Our just half of person tax is 150 million revenue. You see how software is installed after from a distributive and then this software is executed. You see it in outputs the correct value of the counter one. So it's our preliminary version. Now I will show you. By the way, I'm Victor Patton, the mathematician who discovered Todd and Semi group actions. We'll show you the software in action. We copy the repository principal ID. Now we are switching to browser, add in distro like add in Red Hat or add in Ubuntu, save changes. The distro name to do is edit. Now we can install a package. We see that there are no install, no, there is install package. We will remove it. On install counter. It's uninstalling. It's uninstalled. Install packages, no packages. Now we will install counter, counter package, start installation, choose the version, we have just one, install new package, counter is installing, it's installed, you see install package info, like it's description, now we will install the same package again, we can have multiple, it's an additional copy of this version, already installed, but we install it again. You see, it has two installations, one and two. Thank you for your attention.